Hendricks gets it to Glover up top. Mack will go baseline, throw up a floater, count it and a foul. She got hit in the arm and was able to finish. And that will go to the line with a chance for a three-point play. Brittany Mack is averaging right at 13 points per game. That leads the Warriors. Just behind her is Shelby Glantz at 12.6. And she does convert the old-fashioned three-point play, so the Warriors go up two. There's a little full court pressure here from the Warriors. Erskine gets it across, and it goes back to Cook. Now Mitchell will drive, get it out to the corner. Corey back to Mitchell. Corey will take a three-pointer, yes! Swings it to Caroline Reese. Mack with it up top. Loses the ball but gathers it back. Ten on the shot clock. Warriors got to go here. Reese has it on the wing. Up top they'll go inside and Hendricks throws it away and that goes out of bounds. And it'll go back to Erskine. Mitchell goes inside with the right hand. Can't finish. Mack the rebound. Warriors have numbers here. Oh, that ball was deflected. She had Griffin. And another turnover. And Erskine has it going the other way. Cook hesitates. Carter with it in the corner. Goes inside. Almost loses the ball. Mitchell will give it back up top. Corey will try top of the key three. No good. Glance the rebound. Reese gets it over to Glance. She'll try a long two. No good, but it goes straight to Hendricks, who gets it inside to Griffin, who's able to finish. Good pass there from Brooke Hendricks. Already a bunch of lead changes here in this first quarter. That'll go outside. Three-pointer. That was Alexis Burse. We had a good look, but I don't know where to make it. Now Mack has it on the offensive side for the Warriors. She'll go baseline, try a jumper. No good. Hendricks able to tip it, and Reese gathers it. So that'll go as an offensive rebound for Hendricks. So Mack's in the corner. will try a three-pointer and knock it down. <laughs> Warriors with their biggest lead of the night at four. So I'll go inside to Carter and loses it. And Warriors can't come up with it. Now Cook has it up top. Got a five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Warriors goes to their left, out to the wing. Cook will try a three pointer. No good. Erskine with the rebound, goes up with the right hand. Now Cook has it inside, throws it up, and able to finish. And Griffin chunks it from long range, about knocking it down. And that'll take us to the end of the first quarter with the Warriors leading 14-12. to You were watching SWU Sports Network.
here at the start of the second quarter with the Warriors up two. Glover has it up top. Reese gets it. That was deflected. That'll stay here. And a turnover. Here's a dribble and drive and the finish from number five, Shanice Michelle, the 5'7 junior from Charleston, South Carolina. Barry gives it to Reese up top, tries to go inside, Newberry collects it, and then Barry loses it. Oh, and then Michelle just dribbles it off her foot, and it'll go back to the Warriors. Shanice Michelle had a chance in transition to take the lead, but lost the ball. Screffin dribble drives in. Reese from the corner, no good. Rebound goes number 12, Mariah Corey. Cook with it on the right wing. Dribbles back out. Nine on the shot clock. McCoy will try a contested three. Rims out. Glover comes up with a rebound. Greffin brings it up the court. Gives it a Newberry up top. She'll give it to Reese. We'll go baseline. Shoot the baseline. Jay too strong. Hansa Cook to rebound and brings it up the court. Now Mitchell has it. Gives it to Cook, who will take a three-pointer. Comes up short, tipped, and the rebound goes to Newberry, who football throws it to Greffin, and she'll go to Reese. A dangerous pass there, but Newberry goes inside, goes up with the left hand, and lays it in. So Newberry sees a lane, goes right to it, and finishes with the left hand and puts the Warriors back up by two. Rollins turns it over, and Barry has it going the other way. Bounce pass to Glover. Goes up with the right hand. Can't finish. Missed opportunity there for the Warriors. Unable to convert after the turnover. And Cook has it back up the floor. Got to go to Wilson, who just has to launch it back into play, and now Barry has it again. Reffin with it. She'll take a three-pointer. Comes up way short, but Glover's right there. Block. And then draws contact and she'll go to the line. Alexis Glover, Jr. from Anderson, South Carolina, right down the road. She's averaging almost right at five points per game. She's a 61% free throw shooter. The first one is no good. Second free throw attempt up and good. So the Warriors go up three and she will come out and Shelby Lance will come in. For Erskine, number 14, Amaya Richardson will come off. Number 21, Janelle Carter, will come back in for the fleet. A little full court pressure here from the Warriors, but Erskine able to beat it. It's Mitchell forced to back it out. 10 on the shot clock. Carter goes inside. Not there. Taken away from Matt. Just her in the rim in front of her. Goes over the right hand. Oh, good defense. From Shanice Mitchell just to even get the foul and make her earn it at the free throw line, but she came sprinting from behind. But Brittany Mack will go to the line to shoot two and a chance to extend the Warrior lead to five. Oh, 
first free throw attempt. Rattles in. Mack is a 73% free throw shooter. Second one up and good. The lead up to five, the biggest of the night for the Warriors. Double team. Cross court pass goes to Michelle. Mitchell, excuse me. It crosses the free throw line, passes it back out. That's Corey, long three-pointer, way off. Griffin has it, long pass goes to Barry, but knocked away by Maria Corey. The Warriors win down on the side. Number 33. Katara Henry will come off, and number 14, Amaya Richardson, will come back in for the fleet. Griffin has it up top, gets it to Henry, hands it back to Griffin. Can't finish, but draws contact, and Lewis will go back to the free throw line. Lexi Griffin, a transfer from New Hampshire. She's found her way recently into the starting lineup. She cannot connect on the first free throw. Griffin is a 76% free throw shooter. But this is both there. And Erskine has it. A double team from Mack and Glance, but Cook just able to get out of it. And Mitchell drives baseline, nothing there. Cook has it up top, swings it over to Corey. Makes a good pass inside, but unable to finish was Janelle Carter, and Griffin has it. Griffin goes inside, throws it up, able to draw contact, and she'll go back to the free throw line. The Warriors just living at the free throw line here in this second quarter. So Mitchell will come off. Looks like. First free throw 10 up and in for Griffin. Getting her first minutes of the game will be number 11, Iana Oduaja. Sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia. Scruffing connects on that pair. It's the lead up to seven. Gets over to Cook, who's wide open. Will take the three-pointer and knock it down. And the lead cut back to four. Zia Cook has taken a lot of threes already. That was by far the most open she's been and able to connect. Hendricks gets it to Mack. Mack goes to the corner with Griffin. And now Mack, pump fakes, goes inside. Not there. Gonna get called for the travel. Took an extra step. That'll take us to a timeout with 418 remaining in the half. Warriors lead 21-17. You're watching Smooth Sports Network. What if there's a place for you where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation? Where professors are more like mentors and guides. Where generosity is contagious and if you catch it, you just might change the world. This is it. Step into community. Step into faith. Step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University.
Coming up on four minutes remaining in the first half. As Cook will try another three-pointer. Comes up short, reffing the rebound. Reese has it up top, gets it inside to Grant, who will turn around, take a jumper, and knock it down. That looked really smooth. Corey has it on the wing with Reese guarding her. Hard pass to Cook, thought about taking another three. No, Corey has it, six on the shot clock, gets it to the corner. Adulja gets it back to Corey, mid-range jumper, no good, and ball goes around and ends up in the hands of Brooke Hendricks, who gets it to Mac. And she'll drive and lose the ball. Dribbled right into traffic. So Cook drives in, gets it to the corner. Adula, corner three, comes up short. And Griffin with another rebound. Oh, Matt goes baseline. Oh, good move. I don't even know if she realized how open she was, but Griffin's open for three and come up. That'll come up short. Carter. It's over to Corey. Excuse me, that's Corey will take the top of the key three and that hits nothing and that'll go out of bounds and back to the Warriors. And Glover will come in and Brooke Hendricks will come out. So Mac brings it up the court. Hands it off to Hendricks, who quickly gets it to Glover. Reese has it on the wing, gets it up top to Mack. Mack just kind of tossed it up to the middle. Shot clock at seven, so Mack's got to go here. Reese will try a long three-pointer and just goes in and out, but Glover comes up with a rebound and lays it back in. Now Eva Nadula is it up top. It's it over. Notice Richardson who drive and lost the ball. The Warriors come up with it. Just under 90 seconds remaining in the half. Warriors lead by eight. Glover gives it to Hendricks who goes baseline, gets double teamed. Now Glantz will try a three pointer. That won't go and a foul called. Now Matt will come off and Tristan Berry will check back in. Cook gives it to Corey. Corey dribbles back up to the top. Cook looking inside. She'll take the screen and try another three-pointer and knock it down. Sinzaya Cook starting to get going from the perimeter. Able to cut the lead to five. Now Hendricks bounce pass to Glantz. Reese has it. Glantz goes inside. Back out to Reese. Hendricks, good ball movement here. Barry from the corner, good. Great ball movement there for the Warriors and it ends with a Tristan Barry three pointer. The lead back up to eight. Shot clock turned off, 20 seconds left. Udulaja hands it off to Cook. 10 seconds left. We get it back out. Three pointer here from Henry, no good. And so like that'll be a jump ball with the second remaining, and that'll stay with Erskine. 1.6 on the clock.
Inbound goes. Here's a three-pointer from Carter. No good, and the Warriors will go into the locker room with a 28-20 lead. Stay with the second half coming up. Ready to take the step. I wonder if you've ever considered that you only have one life to live. I wonder if you have the courage to be exactly who you were called to be. I wonder if you understand that you can do anything if only you believe it. What if there's a place for you? A place where you can dream higher, where your dreams and future collide with God's vision and direction, where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation, where professors are more like mentors and guides, where generosity is contagious and if you catch it, you just might change the world, where servant leaders of the next generation are grown and where your story can be written and change the course of history. This is it. Step into community, step into faith, step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University.
I started playing lacrosse because I wanted to try something new. I'm originally from Bolivia and our main sport is soccer. So when I got to the US, I was like, okay, I'm gonna swim and I wanna do something else. I never thought that I would be where I am right now. Um, I passed three years here. My teammates have been my best friends, I think. Right now we're a small team and the best thing we can do is get to know each other more than just we're players. My major is Recreation and Sports Management and I have a minor in Media and Communications. What keeps me in Sports Management is Dr. Joe Crosby. He's been such a big figure into my life, like same with Dr. Knight. Minoring in Media and Communication has been a blessing for me because um, I think if I ever needed anything I can talk to either of them, they're more like family than just professors. You never know where the lore is gonna take you. It's just crazy to think that I'm a senior in college playing lacrosse. This is it. Step into community, step into faith, step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University. This is it. Step into community. Wake up and focus. Awaken your dreams. Awaken your soul. Awaken your purpose. This Southern Wesleyan University. What if there's a place for you where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation, where professors are more like mentors and guides, where generosity is contagious, and if you catch it, you just might change the world. This is it. Step into community, step into faith, step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University.
Wake up and focus. Awaken your dreams. Awaken your soul. Awaken your purpose. This is Southern Wesleyan University. Start the second half is right away. They go inside to Mac. That ball's knocked away. First half, the storyline was Warriors at the free throw line, especially in the second quarter. No, Corey flipped it to Cook, and Cook traveled before she took the shot. Glance gets it over to Griffin. Griffin goes inside. Might have gotten away with the push off. We'll take the mid range shot, and that'll come up well short. So now Cook with it up top. Warriors forced a lot of turnovers in the first half. So that pass goes straight to Glance inside. Now Barry, who had a couple of threes from the corner in the first half, gives it out, gets a new Barry, who has it up top. Now go inside to Mac, who will turn around and go up with it and flip it up and in. The Warriors go up by double digits for the first time tonight. Yeah. Starting the second half for her skin is Ayana Adua. That ball's not the way, and Mac has it going the other way. Oh, she had Shelby, but threw it right into the hands of Janelle Carter. Cook, lose baseline with Barry defending. Throws it up. That got knocked out of bounds by Glant, so it'll stay here with the fleet. Duo will come off. And Shanice Michelle will go back in. And down in his quarry. Now five on the shot clock. He's going inside, can't finish. That was Carter who had a good look, but unable to even get rim. Now Matt. Hands it off to Griffin. Now Glance has it inside, turns around, takes that mid-range jumper, and just goes off, and they're going to get Griffin for a... Looks like she pushed off before she got the rebound, so that'll be a foul on Griffin and go back to Erskine. 
Cloak just crosses midcourt. Bounce pass to Corey. Carter drives inside, kicks it back out. Cook, not there. Carter finds Richardson for three. Can't finish. And that'll go out of bounds and go back to the Warriors. So just like the beginning of the game, here at the beginning of the second half, a slow start, not a lot of offense. Griffin goes inside to Grant. Should pump fake not there. Take that turnaround jumper and able to knock it down. And the lead goes to 12. Coach Peel are very frustrated. Mitchell goes inside, able to finish. Shanice Michelle, beautiful drive there, Nurse can needed that. Now Glantz will try a three-pointer, no good. Cook the rebound. Which Davis probably wasn't too happy with how early in the shot clock that was. Now driving and drawing contact, and Mitchell will go to the line to shoot a pair. Mitchell is down, seems to be a little banged up, but seems to be all right, it looks like. She's getting checked on just in case. Looks like she seems to be all right. Looks like Erskine might be calling a timeout. The debate might have been whether if she has to come out the game or not. But we'll take a quick break. The Warriors up by 10. back here out of the timeout. Mitchell able to connect on the first of the pair. Cut their lead to single digits. Mitchell able to connect on the second. Now Newberry has it inside. Goes inside, goes up with a right hand, fouled. Plus the foul. They're counting in the foul, and she'll go to the line with a chance for a three-point play. Allie Newberry just turned and had a lane. Pump fate, went up, drew the contact, able to finish. Newberry's a 57% free throw shooter, and that one goes in and out. Rebounded by Janelle Carter. Here's a three-pointer from Corey, no good. Glance the rebound. He gets it over to Brittany Mack. Let's 
Mack hands it off to Barry. Now Glance with it up top. Here to Hendricks. Newberry. Looks like Brittany Mack might have slipped and fell right beside her. Newberry gets open inside, and Mack found her. The lead goes back up to 12. Side and able to finish his cook. Matt goes base on good pass to the corner. Hendrick gets it to Barry, and Barry will drive and go up the right hand. Can't finish, gets her own rebound. And might have turned it over. Nope. And we'll see it was took. Glance goes inside, and then Glance throws it right to number 21, Janelle Carter. Coach Davis very frustrated with that. The Warriors had numbers. We'll go to a timeout. Four and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Warriors up by 10. This is it. Step into community, step into faith, step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University. Long weekends. Timeout as Cook able to beat the double team. Going inside, kick it out with Mack right there on the steal. Mack will go inside, go up with the right hand. Good defense there. Mariah Corey got a piece of it and was able to knock it away. Newberry takes them down. Hendricks gets it to Newberry. She'll throw it to the corner. Reese for three. No good. Goes straight to Mack, who gets the easy lay in after the rebound. Coach Pure won't be too happy about that. The ball bounced right to Mack, and she's able to get an easy layup, and the Warriors go back up by 12. And now a foul called. So they're going to get. So they're going to get Brooke Hendricks on the foul. The inbound goes to Cook. Now Mitchell. It's over to Cook. Ten on the shot clock. Mitchell will try a contested three. No good. And Glover able to run it down and get the rebound. Inbound it. Yep. I thought they were about to call up. That foot drag just a little bit. It's not the way from Newberry. Lexi Griffin gets up off the bench, ready to check in. Erskine has it with 15 on the shot clock. Mitchell will go inside, throw it up with the right hand and draw contact and she'll go back to the free throw line.
Brittany Mack and Newberry will come off. Tristan Berry and Griffin will come in. First free throw attempt for Mitchell is up and good. She's a 78% free throw shooter. That one rims off. Glover comes up with a rebound. Louise has another baseline. They're going to call another walk. Another turnover for the Warriors. Cook gives it up top. Corey will drive. Kick it out to the corner. Mitchell will try corner three. Too strong. Glover with another rebound. Bounce pass to Reese. Reese will take a baseline. And it's like Corey got a piece of Reese's arm, and Reese will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw attempt is pure for Caroline Reese. Reese has actually not missed a free throw this season. Perfect 1,000%. Full court pressure from the Warriors. It has caused some problems for Erskine. Now Cook will try a long three, comes up short. Griffin the rebound. Oh, Barry thought about it. We'll go inside, give it to the corner to Reese. Reese long pass to Griffin. Lover was posting up. Surprised they're not trying to get it down to her, but. Griffin will try a tough baseline. Jumper and knock it down. Defender in their face, moving sideways. A great looking shot there from Griffin, and the lead is up to as big as 15. And Corey will try a three pointer. No good. Hendricks with the rebound. About 60 seconds remaining here in the third quarter as Hendricks goes, gets it to Reese. Her three pointer. No good. Ball gets knocked loose, but Mitchell comes up with it. She'll take it coast to coast and finish with the right hand. and kicks it out. Reese will try another three-point. That comes up way short. Goes right into the hands of Griffin. We've got a little too low under the basket. That'll go out of bounds and back to Erskine with 32 seconds remaining. So about a 2.5 second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. So Erskine will make a couple of changes here. It's a double team by Reese and Barry. Cook just able to get it across half court. It's a long pass. That goes number 10. And then Alex Burst. And now Mitchell has it baseline. Gets fouled, but they'll say before the shot. I believe the Warriors were over the limit. So Mitchell will go back to the free throw line. free throw attempt is good. And she'll split the pair. So the lead 
He's at 12, and the Warriors can't hold for the final shot here. 10 seconds remaining. Reese has it on the wing, seven seconds. Mounts west to Barry. Thought about the three, goes inside. Ooh, she gets hit hard in the mouth. Looked to bang her up just a little bit. I saw that from here. I mean, she got popped. She seems to be okay. She'll shoot a couple of free throws with three seconds remaining in the third quarter. Mia Garner will come in for the Warriors. Naya Garner, excuse me. Her first action tonight. Barry's first free throw attempt is up and good. Connect on the pair. So as expected, the Warriors full court pressure here. Three seconds left. They'll get it in the cook. Two seconds, one second. She'll launch from half court. No good. So heading into the fourth quarter, Warriors will have a 14 point lead. Stay with us. You're watching Sioux Sports Network. This is it. Step into community. Step into faith, step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University. Back live here at the start of the fourth quarter where the Warriors are in control, 44 to 40. 44 to 30, excuse me. Good defense there from Tristan Berry. Mitchell will try a three-pointer. In and out. That one touched about every part of the rim but didn't go in a foul. And that'll go back to the Warriors. Griffin has it. Up top. Gets it to Glance. Now they'll go inside to Glover. We'll kick it back out to Glance. Now Glover will go inside. Good. Little move there, but unable to finish. three-pointer. It's from Alexis Burse. Unable to connect. Oh, good move from Griffin. Foul down one. She's fired up. That was a beautiful take. Cross to the left hand and able to finish. She'll have a chance at the old-fashioned three-point play. Griffin's a 76% free throw shooter. Comes up just short. Glantz got a hand on it, but couldn't come up with it. So we'll go back to Erskine. The lead as big as it's been for the Warriors, up to 16 now. It's good defense there from Naya and Tristan Berry. Mitchell is. 
Not away, and Glover comes up with it. And she'll get it to Barry. Warriors have a chance to blow it open here in the fourth quarter. Plants. Call. Three second violation. I believe they're going to get Glover camping out in the paint too long. It's going to turn over back to the fleet. Mitchell gets into the corner. Burris comes up way short on that three pointer. Oh. They had Naya going in the corner, but she was unable to corral it. And that'll go out of bounds as Matt will come in, Barry will come out. And for the fleet, number 30, Albany Wilson will come in. For number 10, Alexis Burris. Mitchell goes inside, throws it up with the right hand and gets fouled, and she'll go back to the free throw line where it seems like she has just lived here in the second half. First free throw attempt, up and good. And then able to connect on the pair is Mitchell. She's been most of the offense here for the fleet in the second half, so if they want to get back in this game, they got to give her the ball as much as they can. As in for the Warriors is number 22, Kamani Green, for the first time. As Newberry gets it to the corner. Griffin, three-pointer. Yes! Good pass from Allie Newberry, able to find Griffin, and the lead's up to 17. Cook gets it across. And Albany Wilson draws the foul. That foul's gonna go on Kamani Green. And Albany Wilson will shoot a pair at the free throw line. She's a freshman from Florence, South Carolina. free throw attempt in and out. Second free throw attempt. Rims off and glance with the rebound. So Matt gets it out to Griffin. Now Newberry will try a three-pointer, steps right into it, no good. Coach Davis not too happy with that shot. You can see it on his face. Now Wilson drives in, throws it up with the right hand, no good. Griffin, another rebound. She'll dribble inside. And there gets it to the corner. Kamani Green, corner three, and knocks it down. Kamani Green off the bench. Steps up and drills a three-pointer. And Oskin wants a timeout. And the lead is up to 20. H. Pilo will take a timeout. And so will we. Warriors up big here in the fourth. You're watching Sioux Sports Network.
like that other timeout. Hurst can find themselves in a 20-point hole almost halfway through this fourth quarter. So if they're going to make a late push. It's got to happen right now. That three-pointer comes up short. That was Kutera Henry. And then a tie-up. Possession arrow to Erskine, so it'll stay here. Hook with a three-pointer. Too strong. Ball goes up and off Mitchell. And back to the Warriors. Breffin looking for somewhere to go with it. Except to Kamani Green. Newberry goes baseline. It's a good bounce pass to Mack, who gets it right back into Newberry. He's able to finish underneath. And it's going to be a travel called Aniana Odulaja. Newberry hands it off to Green. And a turnover. Carter has it going the other way. Will go up with the left hand. No good. And coming up with the rebound is Kamani Green. Green had Glover, still gets it to her, but a little too late. She was open before that. So go to the corner, good pump fake there. And going up with the right hand and finishing is the 14, Amaya Richardson, senior from Boiling Springs, South Carolina. top. Greffin gets it to Glover, gets it back out to Greffin. Seven on the shot clock. Warriors got to go here. Matt goes inside, throws it up. Got hit. Surprised. No foul call there, but it's like it'll stay with the Warriors with one second on the shot clock. So Greffin will come off along with Matt. And Rachel Page will get her first minutes of the evening. Coming back in is number one, Nia Gardner. Snoobie has some great defensive play there from Janelle Carter. Knocks it away, and that'll be a shot clock violation and go back to Erskine. Good defensive play there from Kamani Green. It's been beautiful on offense since she's came in. Defense, excuse me, she's made her impact on defense. Uh, a careless blast there from Rachel Page. She's able to collect it and get it back to Newberry. 15 on the shot clock. It's Newberry, ooh, beautiful move in the finish. Little Euro step there from Newberry. Now Cook will try a three-pointer. No good. Newberry had it, but then lost it. Now, Naya Garner comes up with it. Dribbles it back out. Page 
Welch with it, bounce pass to Newberry. That pass deflected, five on the shot clock. A beautiful move in the left hand that can't finish. Glover comes up with it short, gets another rebound, unable to finish again, and Erskine comes up with it. But what a move from number one, Naya Gardner. The Warrior bench was fired up at that. They wanted her to finish that. So Erskine scores on the other end, cuts it to 20, and we're just under two minutes left, and we're going to take a quick break. You're watching Sweet Sports Network. Coming up on 90 seconds remaining in the ball game. Warriors in full control here up 20. Garner will come in, shoot the floater, and get it to go. Naya Garner, a junior from Birmingham, Alabama, able to get a bucket. This is Sanaya Rollins with the ball. his first with it. Rollins will try a long three-pointer. No good. Glover rebound. He's been all over the boards tonight. Rachel gets it to Glover. Now Green will go inside, throw up the floater. Comes up just short. We're under a minute remaining here in the ball game. Coming up next, the Men's Erskine Fleet versus the Men's Southern Wesleyan Warriors. So we hope you stay with us for that big matchup in Conference Carolinas. We get it inside. Rachel showed up with the right hand and get it to go. Rachel Page throws it up with the right hand and able to get the bucket. And that got the Warrior bench up and rowdy as they're happy for. Here's a three-pointer from Henry, no good. Glover will hold it out, and that's your ball game. Warriors pick up a big win here at home. Over Erskine, final score, Warriors 60, Erskine 36, men's game coming up. Hope you join us for that one. You're watching Sweet Sports Network. <laughs> 